Good morning. We've got to get it in our hearts before it's too late that God loves us. And it's funny to say that because it's probably the most cliche thing that can be said. Jesus loves you. But it's so important that we understand in our hearts that God loves us. And the reason why it's so important, beloved, is because if we don't understand that God loves us, then life is gonna become the barometer of how much God loves us. How we're doing is gonna determine whether He does or doesn't love us. What happened to us growing up is gonna measure whether God is there or not there. How your parents treated you is gonna measure whether God loves you or not. And even for those of us who believe, we can get deceived and forget that God loves us. And we can let our circumstances begin to shape us and potter us and mold us into something else. Where we think that if money is high or low, that is a determining factor in God's heart for us. We think if we got a job or if we lost a job, that's a reflection of God's love for us. And we begin to be deceived, church, to pray things like, God, if you loved me, then how could you have let that happen? And I'm just speaking real plain with you because I know that every one of us has maybe felt that in our heart. God, if you loved me, then why are you still letting me work here at this place where my boss treats me like garbage? We begin to think like that and we call that prayer when it's just a lack of trust and a lack of understanding. The truth of the matter is so simple. God's love is manifest in this, that God sent his only son into the world that we might live through him. So you see church, life isn't the barometer of how much God loves us. The cross is the measuring stick. And if we don't choose to start there, then we are going to be building our house on the wrong foundation. And when the storms of life come, as they do to the wise and the foolish, we will find our house knocked down and how great the fall will be. But if we choose to build our house on the rock and we choose to gain understanding and live in the reality and truth that God loves us and that it is demonstrated that while we were sinners, He sent His only Son, no more will how things are going potter and shape us. No longer will how your spouse treats you determine how valued or accepted you are. No longer will the way your employees or customers treat you determine what God feels about you. You can be free. You can be free from yourself so much that you would be free from others. You can understand God's love for you so much that you don't need it from others. You're there to receive it from them if they give it, but most importantly, you're there to give it to them. And I wanna address this during communion because we're about to take the bread, which represents the body and this cup, which is the blood. And we're gonna remember his life poured out unto death for us. And I want us to just reflect on this simple truth. God loves me. Despite my circumstances, despite my experiences, no matter how people have treated me or didn't treat me, no matter what, God's love is already revealed that He sent His only Son. And I wanna say that there's hope for us who have faith in the Lord. The Bible teaches us that if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to Him through the death of His Son, how much more will we be saved through His life? So God has made the way for you to live in a glorious freedom. He's made the way for you to live free from circumstances and life no longer be the one who potters you. But the great potter can form you and shape you. And that's what Jesus has made available for us. So if there's anyone here who has been believing that lie, I pray that it would be broken in the name of Jesus and that in this moment, you would know you are loved and you are valuable and you are accepted in the beloved and that everything you've ever done has been washed clean through his 
finished work, and His love has covered every one of your sins. And if you're here this morning and you've never done that, if you've never experienced the freedom that comes through knowing Jesus and knowing your true identity, I want to encourage you right now to open up your heart and to say, Jesus, I receive your love for me based off of the cross and the work you've accomplished there. I'll let go of my excuses and my experiences that might make me believe otherwise, and I'll hold on to the cross. So this morning, if you're here and you don't know Jesus, and you want to take these elements, I encourage you to open up your heart and take the bread and receive His body broken for you, and to take the cup and receive the blood shed for your sins, that this day might be the new day for you, where you walk in a restored identity. So church, as we are here to eat these elements, let's just remember the cross is the barometer. The cross is the measuring stick. God loves you and nothing can separate you from that and nothing can overtake that. You are worth it to God. And may we know that as we remember what he did for us. So let's thank him and reflect on his awesome work.